All right, everybody, I got some exciting news and an update on my crayfish. If you see the crayfish sitting here on top of this log, I was scratching my head looking at it. It looks too big to be the small crayfish, but it's got two claws. And the larger crayfish only had one claw. So the more I got to looking at it, the more I realized one of its claws is actually very small. It's only about half the size of the other claw. You can sort of make it out now. I apologize for all the algae on the glass. But the claw closest to us, its front claw, you can see how it's sort of stunted and a little bit smaller. So I decided I was going to have a look at the burrow that the larger female dug. And when I looked over there, can you see what I'm looking at? It's the sloughed exoskeleton of a crayfish. So I am pretty much sure this is my larger of the two crayfish. She moved a little bit, now you can get a look. You see the difference in the size of the claws there? So apparently I was right. With each slough, when the crayfish gets a little bigger and sloughs, a new claw will be underneath and that new claw will get a little bit bigger so I would imagine the next time she sloughs that claw will come out and be much closer to full size and that's how the claw will regenerate and grow back it's with each additional slough we'll see a larger and larger claw so there she is she's sloughed she's growing her claw back and she is very much a different color it's really hard to get a look at her right now let's try to look in the top Well, that's not better, but not much better anyway. But you can see how she's gone from being real dark and her claw was really purple. And now you can see, hopefully you can see, a lot more red in her claw rather than as purple as it used to be. So she's definitely starting to change color. Now the question is going to be, is the color change associated with her slough? Or is that color change going to be permanent? In other words, if she sloughed, then over the next day or so, as her shell hardens, is it going to harden into the same colors as it used to be, or are we going to get that sort of orangish red color that the other one changed into? Now, on that note, I've been looking for her, and I found the other one here. Her colors are actually starting to look like a normal crayfish again. So I'm not really sure what was going on with that color change in this one. It turned sort of reddish. Maybe that's just a pre-slough coloration, and maybe this one's sloughed as well. And I never found the exoskeleton. Maybe the exoskeleton is just tucked under a rock somewhere in the tank, and I never found it. But this one, pretty quickly after going into the tank, turned that sort of rusty brown color, rusty reddish color, and then after several days looks this color again so I'm beginning to suspect that that reddish coloration might have more to do with the slough and who knows maybe putting it into a bigger tank and a larger uh, environment with more room to move around and more food was enough to get the crayfish uh, growth cycle spurred again and maybe that's what initiated the slough not really sure. I've played with crayfish my whole life, but I've never studied them. So it's been interesting watching these. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe if you're not already. That way you won't miss any updates. I always try to get anything new or interesting that I see, and this was certainly something that I thought was worth getting video of. So this is my 125-gallon native tank. And again, if you're not subscribed, please do so. That way you won't miss any of the updates I've got coming up on this or any of my other tanks. So thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.